Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at lighting consoles or software for band lighting and how to choose the right fit for your needs. So let's start at the bottom and move our way up. So the first recommended console that we have for lighting and for band lighting are these ADJ WMX1 consoles. So I've got it alongside of a MIDI craft MIDI controller, but you can use actually any MIDI controller with these. And that's one of the huge benefits. These controllers can be operated by someone manually, live and on the fly during a show. They can also be operated via MIDI, so they can take a MIDI tempo but they can also take MIDI notes to send from backing tracks, to send from any source that can send MIDI notes and trigger scenes, a foot pedal, things like that. The basic gist of operation of one of these guys is really simple. You add in your lights and then you end up with a home screen like this. Your lights will be spread out into eight groups of your choice. Okay, groups do not have to be all of the same type or model of lights. They can be mixed, which is super cool. And next, we can basically do things like map this controller. So this MIDI controller I have controlling the intensity of the various lights. And then we can really begin programming. So the way the WMX1 basically works is you have color, position, and gobo here on the right side and then you have color, position, and beam effects as well. You then have live edits, which are little um, programming snippets that you can build manually out of the bare DMX channels for things that aren't as easy to access on the other screens, okay? So basically what you do is you go ahead and buy groups. So this is my three groups and this is my color tab. I choose the colors that I want, okay? so. These first two are just set to um, be the color that they are. But then this third one, I'm actually doing a color fan where I'm gonna go from color A to color B across all of those lights. And you should be able to see that as well on our screen. I'll pop it up a little bit better. Positions allow you to build different positions for any lights that have those. You can adjust those, customize those to your needs. And then go to the preset page you hit shift, press a preset, and save it. And now you're able to play that back at any point during your events. And they can have fade times, they cannot. For instance, this preset three has no fade time, but preset two does, so it fades in nice and smooth. And so that's the basic of these things is they're really simple. Down the right side then, you have a BPM tab, you have the ADJ button, which allows you to get an open and strobe like this. Okay, you have a strobe, makes everything strobe. Blinder, turns everything to full white. Speed, adjusts the speed of the chases. By default, it's to 2x, but you can change it to various values. Blackout, and then smoke, which can be your smoke machine, your hazer, whatever you want it to be. All of these things have some customization available, whether you just hold them and it goes, or you toggle it, you press it on, press it off, etc. Okay, MIDI control can be assigned to any of these. Some of the limitations you're gonna find are that you can only play one preset at a time. However, presets actually call up in these consoles all of the basically palettes that you, you worked from. And so when I pull up a preset, okay, I switch to this one, it actually pulls up the colors that I had selected when I recorded it, okay? That then gives me the ability to you know, be in a preset and I can actually fire those off of my MIDI controller so I don't even have to be on the preset page. You can see that here. But I'm now firing them and they're completely editable in the live show so that, you know, I've gone ahead and I've, as an operator, changed myself to this look and now I want to change these two sets of lights to amber. Sure, we're doing it live, there's no fade time, but I can totally sit here and run this and just bounce between these two colors. And then when I wanna get back on track with whatever preset, I can fire it either from my MIDI controller or directly from the, the Wolf Mix. So we really like these. There's a lot they can do. We have a more in-depth review here and we also have one on, on band lighting that we can link to below, which is really cool. 
Next, let's go ahead over to the computer and look at some of our PC or Mac based options for lighting a band. PC or Mac based options for lighting a band can be really helpful when um, you want to run things. Either you want some more complexity and just to have the ability to choose individual fixtures and, and be able to work with them and be able to work with more fixtures individually. If you find you look at the Wolf Mix and you say, you know what, that's a little bit limiting for me then it's probably time to come into one of these PC-based options, if not a full-on professional-grade console. Here in front of us, we have my DMX5 that, surprisingly, we like a lot. We didn't like previous versions of it. It was not a good software. It was buggy. It was bad. But current versions are really good. They've really improved it. They fixed a lot of the problems it had. Um, so kudos, kudos to the team there. This software is pretty simple in the sense that it works like a lot of other lighting consoles. You patch fixtures or just bring them in from the library and there's a vast library available and more you can add yourself or request them and they're pretty quick to turn them around. You then build them in this nice 2D view at the bottom where you can see all of your lights and work with them. You can actually set limits for movement or dimmer at a patch level, and then it'll allow you to kind of modify that on a per show basis, which is cool. Then on the control side, what you do is you basically select your lights and then you adjust them over here. So you, you turn on different attributes, you can adjust them, and then ultimately save them. So what you want to do is you can edit things in live, but the better way to do it is in edit mode. And so here I'm editing whatever selected, in this case this yellow cue. It only has color selected and I can adjust that as need be. And then whenever I click off of the editing tab on that, one is it changes my editor to the new cue, this magenta one. Two is it saves it. Okay, so no record button, no, nothing like that. Nice and simple. We really like the fact that it has a ability to do a cue list like functionality as I'm clicking through it. You can build a cue list for each song and then click through it either manually through a MIDI controller or through backing tracks or some other software like that, foot pedals, etc. And it's it's pretty easy to use all of that kind of stuff. The touch page, the last part, is where you can customize kind of your playback page. So instead of the control page, you often use the touch page where you can select all these different buttons, press them to make your cues go. It responds well. You can adjust things like intensity levels of different cues, turn on positions, move your lights around. Lots of things like that, whatever you want to do. You have the ability to basically lay this out however you need to, however you want to, uh, which is really cool. There is also an app for iOS and Android that allow you to actually control this page wirelessly. So you have this up on the PC and you can control wirelessly on phones and tablets. Uh, other notable notes is that you have both the ability to bring in the audio level as a pulse. It'll basically pulse the lights to the music. It does a really good job. And then we'll go ahead and we have a BPM as well that you can tap, it can sense, it can get from MIDI, etc. And so that's helpful as well. That's the basics of my DMX. Now, it works really well, can do some basic things. The last thing, oh, is the super scene here. The super scene allows you to actually have a time on. You can put music on it. You can put lighting on it. It's really cool how that works as well. Um, just because you can put different things in on a timeline and just have it play, do some really complex stuff really easily. The effects built in do a really good job too. Over to the Mac, we have Lightkey. Lightkey has been one of our favorite Mac softwares for a long time and we still really do like it. My DMX is really pushing hard and honestly is like, really neck and neck with light key in terms of functionality. My DMX beats light key in cost generally over the long term because it's a one time purchase versus a recurring and you get the box with my DMX whereas you have to buy an external DMX box with light key. That being said, if you do use backing tracks out of Ableton Live on a Mac, there's really no easier integration than light key to Ableton Live and we have a great walk through with the band we three that we can click uh, and have here that kind of shows you how they set up a show and made it really amazing out of light key and Ableton. That's the program. Last but not least, we have Onyx. So Onyx is a professional grade software and console. And, you know, the benefit of going to something like this and the consoles that we've reviewed many times is that you can get more hands-on control, you can do more complex things, including pixel mapping, and uh, really be good to go on that. And so it 
it's really when you feel like you're hitting a ceiling either with the types and amount of things you want to do in one of these intermediate level softwares like we talked about, like my DMX or like like he, and that's when it's time to upgrade to something a little more pro grade. The downsides is it's not quite as good at being triggered by external things. OK, it takes a little more setup. It's not quite as simple and easy, but that doesn't mean it's not a great option for a lot of people. Definitely check out all of these. We've got reviews of all of them. And if you need help deciding, then hey, we've got a little uh, console quizzer kind of thing you can fill out that'll help you figure out the perfect fit for you. And uh, you know, when you need to purchase any of them or need to consult on which one, then just head over to Above AVL. You can contact us through our contact page or just add some stuff to your cart and request a quote. We love to build packages for bands and just help you find the perfect stuff for your situation. If that sounds good, go ahead and do that, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.